Bonasera, Bonasera, what did I do to deserve your disrespect? If you'd have come to me in friendship, then this Norm's business would be taken care of. And what do you have to say for it? Okay, we'll go to Norm's after the show. Give me a little kiss. All right. Well, hello, and welcome to Born to Kibitz. I'm your host, Corky Bernstein. Thank you so much for joining us and being part of our cable TV family. We love you so much, and thank you so much for your letters of support, your tweets, your faxes, your emails, your Twitters. Here's a letter from a fan who writes, Dear Corky, if Hillary becomes president, what role do you think Bill will play in her administration? Love your show, Bob Peters, West Hollywood. Hmm. What role would Bill play if Hillary becomes president? I think she'd send him abroad. Get it? Abroad. Hello. Well, let's hope she does, because otherwise we'll be eating steak. Trump steak. 100% pure bologna. And speaking of lunch meat, ladies and gentlemen, wow, do we have a special guest for you. He's eaten the good, the bad, and the indigestible. And he's here with us today. Tell us his amazing survival story at sea. Uh, a real-life castaway, so move over, Daniel Defoe, because the real-life Robinson Caruso is with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Alfredo... Alfredo... Fettuccine. Fettuccine. Thank you so much. Wow. Alfredo. Hello. <laughs> nice to be meeting you. <laughs> How does it feel to be, to be landlocked? To be... Yeah. Well, you know, it was a while ago. <laughs> it, was, it was like, uh, it's already two years. Yeah. So, uh, but it uh, feels good not to be underwater. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a story. Yeah. Now, I saw everybody lined up at the West Hollywood Book Fair this year. And uh, I'm going, well, what's the crowd? What is all the conversation? What's the fuss about? And there you were. Signing books on your book. Now, tell us about the book. T tell our readers about the book that you wrote. Well, the, the, I, I, uh -huh. I, have to, I have to correct you. Okay. Because I did not write the book. No. The book was written by Marvin Finkel. Marvin Finkel wrote the book? Marvin Finkel, very good writer. Oh, okay. He wrote the book about the, remember the miners that was trapped in the mine? 30 yeah. miners, uh -huh. he wrote that book. Oh, he did? He wrote okay. the book about the, uh, the, from Mount Everest. Right. The guys who went up and uh, some of them died. Right. Well, he wrote that. So he came to me, he said, I want to write a book about your story. Sure. I couldn't write it. Right. No. So uh, he questioned me for days and days and uh, like weeks. Right. He was, he's questioning me all the time. Mm-hmm. Marvin. And right. he says to me, when you first realize you're adrift at sea, uh -huh. how did you feel? So I said, I was scared. Right. I was petrified, scared. Right. Okay, so then a couple of days later we're talking, he uh -huh. says to me, when the hurricane hit, because we got knocked around in right. a hurricane, how did you feel? I said, I was, I was scared to death. Right. I was scared to Okay, so when Manuel died, right, he says, "How did you feel?" I said, "I was frightened. I was, I was scared." Right. I didn't know what else to say. I kept saying, "I'm frightened. I was scared." And so right. he says to me, "He says I have the title of the book." Oh, okay. He said, "I'm going to call it Chicken of the Sea." <laughs> So I said, what, what does that mean? You there's, were, there's no chickens in the sea. Well, it's a reference to chicken of the sea he mermaid. Said, it's the name of a tuna fish. <laughs> because you were so frightened. I said, I, I'm really confused here. <laughs> You're going to call the book the no. chick. I thought I had a good title. I wanted what was your title? Abducted by the Sea. Uh huh. No, I like chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea. Well, you were frightened. You were tested. You well, who were, you, wouldn't be frightened? Well, I'm saying. I'm in the middle of the ocean with no land, no nothing, <laughs> nothing to eat. 
Now how about that little mermaid? You know, have you ever seen that little mermaid on the can? The chicken of the sea mermaid? No. Oh, all right. Well, there's. I a... didn't even know it was tuna fish. Well, anyway, if you go to the store, you'll see Star Kiss Chicken of the Sea or something like that. And there's a sexy little mermaid. In fact, I was going to ask you if you ever fantasized about her while you were alone in this huge thing. You want to know something that I haven't told anyone? Right. I was in love with a mermaid. <laughs> there you go. For eight days. Yeah. While at sea. <laughs> Until one morning, I. Right. I realize uh -huh. it's a dolphin. Oh, it was a dolphin. It's not a mermaid. Wow. So we were doing, uh, we had a lot of hallucinating, <laughs> you know, in the sea because uh, your mind. I was going to say. Your mind just goes crazy. Yeah. It? Well, now, like, you, there, there's, besides the elements, the hurricanes, uh, you fight dehydration, you fight star drinking. starvation. The only thing we could drink was rain water. Right. And I was going to say, how did, when it rained, how did you capture it? or everything. When it would rain, we put out shoes, hats, gloves, boxes, right. cups, anything we could. I uh -huh. made Manuel lay down with his mouth open. Uh -huh. He would he would lay like that at the end of the boat, right. and as soon as his mouth was full, I would keep putting the water sure. into something else. Sure. Because you don't know how, how long it's going to, how many days before it's raining. Oh, it's terrible. Now, tell us about Manuel a little bit. He, uh, he, he lasted how long before he expired from what, overexposure, starvation? Well, see, it was only when I returned, when I was uh, rescued, uh -huh. that I found out that we were gone. We were away right. at sea for, uh, it was 17 months. Wow. Exactly, 510 days. Feeding yourself? 510 days, 17 months. And we had no idea. We didn't know if it was three weeks, three months. We did, I, all we could tell was the sun was come up, the sun was go down. Sure. You know, and we lost track. But you outlived him by by quite a... How long? By I, I did. He By that time, he had a... Francesca was his... was a girlfriend of his, was a pelican. Uh-huh. He made friends with the pelican. He yeah. made friends. He, he was in love with the pelican. Okay. And the pelican would come by every day. Bring a fish? Would bring him fish. Ah. Not, not for me. <laughs> wow. He bonded with a pelican. Yeah. He, yeah. Lo he loved the pelican. And, Francesca. Right. So after he died, the pelican kept coming. Good. And one day, the pelican, you know, ate one of his fingers and uh, came back another day, ate uh, part of his ear, and... Uh, well, I was going to say... That's why I got uh, accused of eating well, Manuel. Well, you were accused of eating Manuel. I didn't eat Manuel. All right, okay. I never ate... I ate part of his foot. Well, now, I want to show... That was one little part of his foot, I, because well, I was... you were surviving and you were hungry. hungry. It was too, no, the first way, he was thin. He was a little thin guy, Manuel. Oh, okay. The first way we t to catch fish, right? I would hang him over the side of the boat, uh -huh. and I would hold him by the ankles, right? And he would try to catch fish in the water. I mean, it work, uh -huh. uh, work a couple of times, but uh, wow, yeah, he got bitten too many times, and uh, so we we had to stop that. But uh, you know, no, so you I, I could any... never have done that if he were uh, right. If, if he was he were a big guy, I don't know why know. I confused it with that, but you know, no. So you gave him a proper burial at that sea. That picture I you assume. showed looked like the guy who rescued us. Oh, maybe so. He okay. was a, that maybe you got the confused the pictures. Oh, maybe that's right. Could be. Now you ate a lot of things when you were starved. I heard you ate. Did you, is it true that you ate your sneakers and the Bible? We ate a lot of paper from the Bible. Uh huh. We ate our hair. Right. I heard you. We both cut our hair at one point. Right. And we made like a casserole of it and uh -huh. uh, we, we figured is the base of it has got to be protein right so how could it be bad you know and i heard that you seasoned it in salt water too yeah but it was bad and no i heard of what we did it was bad i heard also that you drank your own urine is that true because that that could be toxic for you manuel did i i couldn't do that no i i just the I, toxins go back into I, the I system couldn't do it. we ate a lot of seaweed uh-huh we ate obviously we ate a lot of fish right we caught a lot of fish right uh the worst part was the piratitos the what the piratitos what's a piratito the piratitos it means, translated, it means uh, little pirates. 
Right. The Piratitos. Right. Little pirate. They were midget pirates in the sea. Let's see. They were the demons of the sea. Wow. Yeah, the little pirates. I never and heard of those. Yeah, they would come with little boats. Mini pirates. They, yeah, they would come with little boats and call us names. Right. And throw things at us. Uh -huh. And uh, they threaten all the time to come on the boat. Right. And to smash us up and everything. Were they from Somali? I don't know where they were from. Huh. Lilliputian pirates. Little tiny. That wasn't a little tiny pirate. That's not a hallucination. Vicious, vicious little pirate. And that's not a hallucination. No, piratitos. They came three, four times. Wow. Three, four times. Now I know that. Uh, I know that. I hated that. The turning point in your. Uh, encounter uh, was a large uh, leatherback sea turtle that you made friends with and bonded with. Well, we, yeah, we both did. Now, wasn't the sea turtle? Tell us about that. Didn't you untangle a sea turtle that was wrapped in fishing net and you became friends with that person? Yeah, we did. Uh huh. We did. <sighs> well, do you? Are you getting sad now? Well, we had a lot of experience with the turtle. Yeah. You know? It was huge. I heard leatherbacks are like, they could be seven he feet. Was, he was gigantic. Yeah. And he would come by every so often and say hello, and uh, right. we would say hello. And, uh, so he, he didn't fish for you? No. He didn't bring you food we back? We had, for two days, we had a whale uh, following us. Right. Uh, we named him uh, Wilfredo. Wilf after Wilfredo Canivora, you know, Wilfredo Canivora? No. The famous uh, candle maker? No, I don't no. know. Wilfredo no. Candivora? Oh. The candle maker. Oh. He's very famous. He makes beautiful candles. Anyway, we named the whale Alfredo, and then he left. Because whale blubber becomes c uh, candles, that kind of connection? Well, Is that was, what you're thinking about? He was ten times bigger than the boat. Wow. He was so huge, I couldn't believe it. The, the boat was only 15 feet. Yeah, I was going to say, how long, Little how long boat, was 15, the boat? 15 feet, the boat. Uh-huh. And for the first two days, we kept listening to the radio 24 hours a day like this. The radio was going... Nothing. Wow. So... Did you have a smartphone or anything like that? No. You don't know what a smartphone is? No. This was a dumb radio. It was a dumb radio? Yeah. So two days we're listening. Manuel and me were by the radio. 24 hour day waiting for someone to go, Hola! You know, something. Right. <laughs> Nothing. And then on the third day, <laughs> nothing, died, nothing died on you. dead. That was it. And I couldn't believe, after two hours, Manuel and I, we said, look at each other, we said, I wish there was more static to listen to because this is crazy. <laughs> you now know? you have to entertain yourself. Now there's nothing. And wow. So what did you do? Were you able to send, reflect off anything and get no, captured some attention? No, we tried a million attention? times uh, to, to get uh, the attention of uh, a plane or a boat. Did or you have any near rescues? Yeah, we did. Uh -huh. We had uh, several. Right. Several. We had one day, this was after wow. Manuel started losing his mind. One day he, he comes up to me on the boat and he asked me to dance. Manuel, yeah. Manuel. Of course. Who else is there? I, I Dumb question. I said, please. Uh, right. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to, He's going out of his not head going by to dance with you. Yeah. So then he says, well, then I'm not taking you to the spring dance. <laughs> he's, he's out of his skull. I said, okay, don't take me. Okay. So <laughs> then starts calling me Teresa. <laughs> no. Yeah. I shouldn't be laughing. Well, I oh, finally I, I had to put it down my foot. Uh huh. I had to put down my foot and say, Manuel, if you call me Teresa anymore, uh -huh. or if you tell me I'm beautiful mm -hmm. anymore, I'm going to kick you in the cojones, uh -huh. you know, as hard as I can, sure. and you will remember that. Wow. So that got him off, and and uh, he went back to Francesca the Pelican. Right. Uh, well, that's pretty nice. But he, he was, that's when he started losing his mind. Anyway, one day we see a yacht. Uh huh. A big, uh, very, very expensive yacht. Right. Beautiful. You start screaming, yelling? Screaming. I lit my pants on fire. <laughs> I, I, anything I could do with, right. you know, with throwing things in the air. And right. Wow. Oh, no. After a couple of minutes, uh -huh. Manuel says, 
you know, and you must bear in mind he's an idiot. Uh -huh. So, but he says, you know, I don't think there's no yacht. Oh, I a said, hallucination. What are you talking about? He says, hallucination. We're having a hallucination. A mirage, but on the ocean. I said, look at the people. They're looking at us with binoculars for crying out loud. What's wrong with you? Oh. And the people on the boat are looking like this. What happened? Nothing. We thought finally it was hallucination. You're right. And I think they thought the same thing. Wow, maybe they were loaded. There was plenty of music and dancing and drinking. And they were uh, drunk. So they, were they just kept sailing. They never bothered. Oh, false hope. Yeah. Now I want to show the uh, viewing audience what you look like when you were rescued finally. Uh, that was the day I was rescued. Can you see this? Ladies and gentlemen, could super up a picture too. Wow. That was the day kind I of was a handsome dude on the sea. It kind of oh, looked no. good. Look that, a little like Jeff that's, Bridges. That's from after 43 sunburns. Wow. And how, tell us about your rescue eventually. How did that, how did, how did that work well, out? Uh, to a complete accident. Yeah. The, the, it was a complete accident because a, a helicopter, a tourist helicopter was flying around. Right. And we tried to get his attention, you know, and, on, and uh, he crashed. Right. <coughs> right into the water. Oh, no. The helicopter. Well, I knew that. I read the book. So we're looking. We don't know what to do. And within two hours, here comes the Coast Guard rescue boat. Oh, you to, were rescued to out get of the people from the helicopter. Right. And then when they came up, uh -huh. they saw us and then took us away. Wow, what a miraculous story. Congratulations. Seven, 17 months. Wow, what a story. I was crying. I bet you were. I was. It was. Now, is it true that your horrible. wife thought you were dead, or your girlfriend yeah. thought you were oh, dead? Oh yeah. And did she re in in Paraguay? Did she remarry? In yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I got home. Well, that's terrible. I got home. There were uh, new people living in my house. Yeah. Oh no. I said this in my house. They said no. We bought it. Huh. I said you can't buy it. This in my house. It's your house. She sold the house. She remarried another guy and was already pregnant with with a oh, baby. Oh no. Yeah. Well, now I understand that she's going after you for half of the royalties on the sale of your book and any future royalties well, on movie rights. I don't get a big percentage. What the heck the, is that all about? Marvin gets most of the money for the book. Right. But I get some, and I'm not giving her anything. Okay. Nothing. Now, i tell you something. What fascinated me about... Uh, you know, I can't even take a bath now. No? You're afraid of water. I get, you should see how I go in to take a shower. Uh -huh. I go in, I get in the shower, <laughs> and out. Wow. I can't even, I... Have you ever ventured back into the ocean at no. all? So you'll stay away from the I'm ocean? I'm so screwed up with the water. Uh-huh. I can't, uh... What would you do at night? Would you I can't even eat fish. No? No, I can't eat fish. Huh. Did, uh... I, I know that one thing I was thought I was going to, every day. You thought you were going to die? Every day I thought I was going to die. Yeah. What I, kept you going? What was the what was the main inspiration? Was it like, I want to see my wife again? Did you keep a picture of her in your wallet? Did you did you say God's going to... What was... I know that there's a source, there's one, a pastrami sandwich yeah. from Greenblatt's. Or what kept you alive? It, <laughs> mainly, it was not wanting to die. Right. Oh. I kept saying to myself every day, this is no way to die. No. This is no way to go out. No. You know, I can't do that. I yeah. Have, somebody will find I had faith you that, had that will someday somebody will find us, but uh -huh. I lost uh, that faith a hundred times. Well, you know? Manuel's gone. You ate his foot. That was no good. I ate part of his foot, not the whole not foot. Not the whole thing. Part of his foot and, and his earlobe. Did, the, how, the how did the pelican, how did the pelican so. take it? Did she go in the morning? No, she came back, kept coming back and eating up uh, Manuel. Oh, that's right. She finished she Manuel She would peck off. away at him every day. She liked him. Yeah. Yeah. In, in more ways than one. Now, I understand that, uh, uh, did you, did you name the turtle? I think we did. So, the turtle... I can't remember the we name. We weren't as close. Let me see. The the pelican was Francesca. Right. The whale was Wilfredo. Uh -huh. uh, the dolphin was named Rosita. <laughs> uh, the turtle, I think we named him Jack. 
Okay. I think it was Jack. I don't remember. Well, I know that people lost at sea oftentimes eat turtle meat and drink their blood. Oh, we couldn't get him on the boat. No. He weighed more than the boat. I was going to say. He weighed, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Right. right? <laughs> he was huge. What a story. What an amazing story. You have no idea how scary it, it, it Did is. Did you scream? What? Were you angry at God? Did you yell at him, why me, why me, anything oh, we, like that? Every emotion... Uh-huh. Every, that a every hu what? Every emotion every that a human being can have, we right. had. Uh-huh. We had. Huh. One day we said, Manuel and, and the Mia, we said, let's, let's just be happy. Right. Okay? So for the day we were, oh, look, the sun is shining. Uh -huh. Look, there's, there's dolphins and there's oh, swimming. Beautiful. And we're going to be at Next day we cried the whole day. Sure. The day after that was a storm. The day after that, we, uh, I, it was terrible. Did it reinf reaffirm your faith in God, the fact that you lived and endured all these calamities and were able to it survive? It reaffirmed my faith in fish is, is what it did mainly. <laughs> Because uh, without the fish and no. the seaweed, yeah. we, we would have died. Sure. We would have died. Now, I understand... We, we did eat almost... Uh, we ate all the buttons off all our shirts. Yeah. And what about jellyfish? I hear that's a big. that was a big chapter in your book, wasn't it? Well, Manuel, he heard that jellyfish is very good for you. Yeah. I said, they can also kill you, you know? Right. Because they g give you a sting, uh -huh. and, or you, they, they give you a, the, the poison that right. they have. You can die. So you have to be careful eating a jellyfish. So on a couple of occasions, uh, Manuel caught a jellyfish. Right. So I wouldn't touch it. No? No. Because I heard that I saw a commercial on TV about Prevagen, and that the active ingredient in Prevagen is jellyfish and that it can enhance your memory for people that suffer Ooh. from memory loss. Well, Wasn't there an occasion that you found your memory getting better? I and didn't want to remember anything oh. about this trip. Okay. Frankly, when it was over, right. I wished I could have put a thing in my head to erase the whole thing. Wow. It was horrible. What a story. And every night I would wake up, uh -huh. you know, I wake up like this, like I'm, like I'm at sea, and, and uh, oh, I was messed up, but good. Well, I know as a journalist, when he wants to tell someone's story, that there has to be a message for the reader in terms of survival, yeah. and what you can share with the reader in terms of keep on going, keep on living, keep on... Uh, Don't go to sea with a moron. <laughs> That would be oh. that would be me in my in my heartfelt <laughs> advice because Manuel was <laughs> he was useless. That's a better title than Chicken of the Sea. He was useless. Don't go to the sea with a moron. Huh? Manuel, well, we need food. He'd be crying. Never mind the crying. What do we need food? We got to get food. Uh huh. Oh. Did he go into the ocean and try to get anything that clings to I, the bottom I of the boat? I told you, at the beginning, I would hold him right. by the ankles uh -huh. and drop him into water over the side of the boat, and he would try to catch oh, the fish. What a story. Yeah, it worked a couple of times, but he got bitten by a manta ray, and he got bitten by an eel. Uh -huh. So we, I said, if we keep doing this, we're going to lose Manuel altogether. Wow. So I, well, you're a real-life Robinson Crusoe, my friend. Yeah, I didn't want to be that. What about son, sex? I did you get? Did you get? Uh, uh, did you feel any sexual uh, lack of, or you know, fantasize at night to go to sleep to help you go to sleep, or I know, is that is that uh, my invading? Well, privacy? with with Manuel calling me Teresa, yeah. I, I was a bit nervous. Okay. So I slept with one eye open, you uh -huh. know. And uh, I wore two, three pair of underwear. Okay. Because yeah. of Manuel, I I yeah. didn't trust him at all. Right. But wow. no, I didn't have. Well, I to be I if if I have to be that honest, I would say when I thought the dolphin was a mermaid. Yeah, that's I right. I had I had thoughts. Sure. You know. Yeah. Because uh, they're so smooth. I know. And shiny. And yeah. And beautiful. Flipper. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Getting married to Flipper. Rosita. Wow, Rosita. The Beautiful story. A lovely Would dog. you lay out at night and look at the stars and we try to help navigate we saw towards great them? many UFOs. Uh-huh. Incredible. I can that. Every, every few nights we would 
see something. What was that? I don't know, but it was a big <laughs> triangle thing <laughs> with colored orange and green. I'm not, it's no airplane. <laughs> it's no helicopter. I know wow. that. Wow. We would see those very often. Somebody was watching you, my friend. Somebody was watching you. Yeah, the Piratitos, those little yeah. midget pirates. Did you get close to them at all? Did they try to be friends? Did you? No, did friends. They, offer they you wanted food? to kill us. Huh. They wanted to kill. They are the meanest, vicious the little Piratitos. Vicious little pirates. Wow, I've never heard of yeah. those. Hey, get over here. You know. <laughs> wow. That's a story. Ooh, scared the hell out of me. Well, my friend, all I can say is God bless you. You're here, you're alive, and you bless. achieved some sort Thank of you. local stardom. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, thank God, huh? Every day, on your knees, huh? Well, way to go. Thank you for being on my show. Oh, thank you for having me here. Yeah, and you're here, and you're a star. You sign people's autographs, and... Uh, I did at the, book and, at the bookstore. Book store? Yeah. Uh -huh. People ask me all kinds of questions, mainly about fishing. Has your life <laughs> has your life changed at all? Do you have a new lady in your life? Do you have a new? Uh, uh, no, my life my uh, life still uh, still uh, sucks. Yeah. Well, well, thank you. You're uh, not chicken of the sea. Uh, You're a brave man in the ocean. Thank you, buddy. Mark. Yeah. I appreciate that. Well, that's it for this week's show, ladies and gentlemen. Alfredo Fettuccini, God bless, stay well, and remember, your mind is like a parachute. It works best when? Alfredo? Uh, very clever. Huh. That's very clever what you say there. Thank with you, the buddy. With the parachute. <laughs> very clever. Uh. What a story. Yeah.